hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel and happy new year to us all i pray this year bring us nothing but joy peace and prosperity and thank you so much for sticking to monad's kitchen i do appreciate today i'm bringing you another beautiful video i'm bringing you a banger how to make potato fufu it's so easy and simple to make guys this is the opportunity for you to learn how to make potato fufu let's get started so i came across this old potato of mine that i long forgotten about it and when i saw it what came on my mind was i have to make fufu out of you okay as you can see it has even started to germinate so i'm using four pieces of the potatoes okay you can use small if you have a larger family okay this will be enough for me okay as you can see i have finished washing or cleaning it and i'm started to peel okay or i have started to peel so after peeling this is what i have it's so clean and fresh you might not even think it's an old potato so i'm going to cut it into smaller pieces there are so many ways or so many methods that you can prepare your potato fufu and you can also enjoy your potato by making it into fufu it's not always the regular fries okay it's like a lot of people only know potato for fries and you know kind of but you can also make your fufu with potato so guys this is it i'm cutting it into smaller pieces and let me show you one way you can make your potato fufu one way is for you to add everything into your blender blend it with minimum amount of water because if you use more water it will be watery which will not be good for your potato fufu so i advise you add a little bit of water blend it and then add everything into your cooking ware or your pan put it on fire and then start to stir okay for you to get your potato fufu so for me i like to use this method okay to prepare my potato fufu so now that my potato is clean cut into smaller pieces i'm going to add it into a pan and then boil okay after adding it into your pan then you add some minimum of water into it and then put it on fire for it to cook this does not take more than 10 minutes for it to cook but make sure that your potato is well cooked and being soft okay to get a lamb free fufu you know it does not taste good when you are eating some lumpy fufu so time for me to check my potato and see whether it's cooked as you can see it's cooked because it's so soft so this is how it has to be so time for me to add it into a strainer and then strain all the water content or the water from it okay so after straining the water from it i'll then add it back into the pan and then use my eta okay eta is a Ghanaian um thing that we use to mash things like potato plantain and so many other things okay so i'm using the eta first to make sure that i mash it so well to get a lamb free so after this i then use my spatula so for me to get a starchy potato i then have to use some cornstarch okay others use potato starch but i wasn't having potato starch at the moment that i was preparing this potato fufu so i use my cornstarch cuts it's all serve the same purpose okay you can just use cornstarch if you don't have potato starch so i just add it back into my potato and i have started to drive guys for me i found this method so easy and simple but i know others might also prefer the other method that i told you by blending your potato and then you know blah 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 so guys this is it is so beautiful and it came out very well and nice so guys what would you like to eat your potato for food with what would you like to enjoy with wheat soup or wheat stew okay i like to enjoy mine with some okra soup i made some delicious okra soup that i'll be enjoying with 
thank you so much my beautiful people for coming back to watch my videos i appreciate okay don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and don't also forget to give me a thumbs up guys thank you so much once again time for me to start digging in you all are invited okay let's enjoy ourselves <laughs> till we meet again shalom peace out